Freedom Guy 55 here again. I just saw Green Lantern. Yes, I got my little ring there too. Um, out of, out of the interesting thing is, is that I actually really do like the Green Lantern. I love his stories and such like that. Um, and I, so I just saw this movie and I was really anticipating it. And I have to say that this movie is a fun movie. It is a, it is a fun movie on that level and it's good to at least see once. But is it a good movie? No. It really doesn't work on so many levels. The problem is, is that this movie tries to jam-pack so much history of, uh, of the Green Lanterns. Not all the history, oh hell no. But so much history. Because um, Green Lantern, ever, you know, for a while, has had so much in-depth history, so many different characters, so many different, uh, way, uh, so many different stories, and so on. And they tried to jam-pack a lot of that, a lot of those particular stories together into this film. And by doing so, um, it, became, it becomes a kind of a mess, really. Um, in doing so, they, they, they kind of have a lot of quick scenes and a lot of different particular kind of scenes. And, they, and the problem is, is that it winds up making the... the um, um, the supporting cast in this so underdeveloped and a lot of other particular things to be so underdeveloped and since the supporting cast is really so underdeveloped in that sense it doesn't help the origin story of Hal Jordan at all it just this movie is, is such a mess in that sense I mean, I was always wanting more out of these characters. I wanted more uh, Sinistro. I wanted more Kilowog. I wanted more uh, Oa, you know? I wanted more, you know, of, uh, you know, even Peter Sarsgaard's character. I wanted more of that. But they didn't have that. So it was like so, it, it, they took away so much of that, uh, they took so much of that away. Um, because they tried to make, they tried to put, a lot of the a lot of stuff into this film but I will have to give props to this film really very excellent um, special effects very excellent the special effects are just really so good in this film I just love them yet and you know and the interesting thing is is that the last action sequence in, in, in the city if you see this film in the city reminded me a little bit, a little bit, of S Superman 2. I was like, oh, wow, this is getting good. And then they ended it. <laughs> it wasn't really, it, it was just really too fast. And I just thought, oh, man, I wanted more. You know, and that's the one thing that was problematic with this stuff. I wanted more of these characters to be developed. But then it'd be a longer film, and then it'd probably be boring. So, and it, it's the only reason is because they jam-packed a lot of stuff in this film. Now, the thing is, is that this movie is still fun. And I know I'll get it on DVD. Because I love Green Lantern. And this is the first traditional a superhero for the DC universe to do that is not Batman or Superman. And I really do, I really, really do want a sequel. I really do want a sequel and I want to see if they could really do it better. So as much as anything else, it's not a bad film. Uh, well, actually, it's not a really good film, but it's not a bad film either. So it kind of falls into that kind of fair category, you know. So in a sense, you know, you would kind of give it like two two stars or two and a half stars, you know. Somewhat getting to a somewhat of a good movie or could have been a good movie, but it just falls so so flat in that sense. I also thought that Ryan, Ryan Reynolds didn't really have much of a commanding force as Hal Jordan. Doesn't mean that he wasn't good as Hal Jordan. It's just I think the dialogue in it just made him look like really sappy when he wasn't the Green Lantern. When he when he became the Green Lantern, he was this kind of confident and, you know, really kind of, you know, demanding force. I mean, he had this kind of, you know, powerful force about himself. 
But when he was Hal Jordan, it just became too sappy, too sad, too, you know, and it's just, he didn't have, he didn't have that kind of, you know, I mean, it was just that. But also, I found that it, it was just too wisecracking as well. Too much wisecracking in this stuff. I mean, that's not Hal Jordan. That's not what I expect Hal Jordan to be. But that's me. But anyway, all in all, it is a good movie to see once in the theater. And if you are a Green Lantern fan, I do... I do recommend to get it on DVD because I believe that there will be other films to come out of this. And hopefully better ones. But anyway, that's my opinion about the subject. And uh, I thank you for your time, man. Have a nice day.